So let's talk about fear and sabotage real quick because I talk to so many spiritual entrepreneurs on a regular basis and one thing that is a common theme is they feel very inspired about an So let's talk about fear and sabotage real quick because I talk to so many spiritual entrepreneurs on a regular basis and one thing that is a common theme is they feel very inspired about an offering that they're creating, whether it's a program or a course or a coaching package of some sort. And right when they get close to actually launching it, fear sets in and doubt sets in and and they start to... Uh, discount their own guidance that they're receiving. They don't trust the process. They don't trust themselves. They don't trust what they're receiving as far as the intuitive hits. They're starting to question all of this in their mind. Um, oftentimes they feel like they're even, they're crazy, like to be bringing through the kind of information that they're bringing through. Maybe it's a little bit too out there. They're worried that people aren't going to accept it, um, things like that. And so I want to address what's going on here. And there's a couple of thing that, things that are going on. First and foremost, um, you have a primal need to fit in. And as you step forward on your soul mission to lead during this great awakening, you're going to be separating yourself from so many of the people that you um, are familiar with in your immediate surroundings and not necessarily separating yourself, but it may feel that way because they don't get you. They don't understand you. Um, maybe you're family members don't understand you. Maybe your friends are starting to unfollow you, um, but your the concepts and the information you're bringing through goes against a lot of, you know, mainstream media. It goes against maybe the church that you're used to. Maybe it goes against what your neighborhood community believes in um, and things like that. And so as you continue to move forward into your authentic expression, you're going to be breaking away from old paradigms. And this is going to trigger that primal fear that we all have, um, because we all have on a primal level this need to fit in. This is a very root chakra re related um, uh, issue. And it's not really an issue. It's just we all have a, a desire to fit in. However, we can perceive our lack of fitting in as a threat to our actual survival, which back in the day, it very much could have been for you, um, a, maybe even in a previous lifetime. But right now, you're not at threat, but you're still going to perceive that. And even, you know, this is a universal thing for people all over the planet, whether they're on the conscious awakened path or not. People want to fit in. It's a primal need to fit in because it's on a primal level, we are assured our safety and survival, more so if we are part of a pack or a tribe. And so as you break away from that, you're going to naturally have fears of sticking out and breaking away from that tribe. Now, you will call in your new tribe. You will call in as you move more into authentic expression and more in resonance with your soul you will start to vibrate at a different frequency and you will call in other members of your soul tribe that resonate at that frequency. And sometimes there's a transition phase and that transition phase can cause you to oftentimes feel isolated, alone, lonely, and that can be a very scary place to the ego, um, not to your soul. And so the other thing that I wanted to address here is that when you step onto the path of divine service and you put start to put your product or your service or your offering out there, you're actually really up leveling you, your frequency quite a bit because you are coming into even greater expression of your soul when you step into service of the divine. When you step up as a spiritual teacher, leader, messenger, and you start to share your divinely guided gifts and your divinely guided inspired wisdom and things with... Um, whether that's through video, through a writing, through um, audio, through a course, through a program, through an offering, you are stepping into divine service. And this is 
part of why your soul is here and this is your mission and as you as you align with that you're going to come into greater resonance with your soul and this is another up leveling that's happening and so as that happens and you step into greater authentic expression you you know you're entering your next level you know you're stepping into your next level self and all of the fear and all of the sabotage always pops up right before that. And it's a natural parse, part of the growth process. And this is why I say imposter syndrome is actually a really good sign that you are up leveling because what's the opposite of imposter syndrome, right? Like if you didn't have imposter syndrome because you weren't pushing your upper limit and you weren't stretching yourself and you weren't expanding beyond the known of what you've known for yourself thus far, you would be in a place of complacency. You would be in a place of non-growth or non-expansion, which actually doesn't really exist because the nature of the universe is expansion. And so if you are in a place where you are resisting change or resisting expansion or resisting growth in any way, that is actually a very painful place to be mentally, emotionally, physically, and energetically. And so I always say I'd much rather have imposter syndrome. I'd much oh, I'd much rather always be dancing that fine line of my upper limit and um, busting through that uh, ceiling and expansion and growth and change and moving into unknown territory for what I've known to be true for myself thus far because the opposite of that would be to be resisting change, resisting expansion, resisting growth, resisting all of that and it is actually way harder to resist ex soul expansion than it is to go with to go with the flow and trust your intuition. And you've probably experienced this to some degree already, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. It takes a lot of energy to resist expansion. It takes a lot of energy to resist what your soul is calling you to do, especially as your soul mission picks up uh, momentum and you are feeling the urge even more and you are receiving the divine guidance and the wisdom and you know that you are here to be led uh, by spirit and you know that you're here to be led by the divine and you know that this is part of your mission and your calling and the momentum is picking up because it's time and you've been activated and you've woken up to this path and it's time for you to move forward on it on a soul level your soul is not slowing down your soul is moving forward full steam ahead and the more you resist the process the more painful it's going to be and um so a lot of times as a byproduct of the the fear and the self-doubt, then you procrastinate on releasing the course or you procrastinate on the offer or you procrastinate on sharing the message and you procrastinate and you put off what it is that you're being called to do. And that never leads to abundance and expansion and freedom and flow. That leads to constriction and rigidity and the opposite of that. And so it's just really important when you find yourself at this divine crossroad, I guess, so to speak, that you recognize what the fear really is. It's just your ego. And it's even possibly this primal fear to fit in, but all of it um, is, it's just a natural part of the growth process. And so there is courage required and there is trust required and recognize that as you break away from whatever isn't serving you and maybe you lose friends or maybe you lose followers or maybe which in actual in actuality i guarantee that you will um you open up yourself to gain so much more and everything that you stand to gain is going to be a resonant match for who you are becoming a more resonant match for your soul, that frequency, which is a totally different frequency than the person that is hiding and playing small and constriction and not 
um, stepping onto the path and not allowing spirit to flow through her and not trusting. That's a totally different frequency. And so you're definitely up leveling your frequency when you step into the path of divine service. And when you do, things will begin to shift for you in what appears to be miraculous ways and miraculous ways. I truly believe that the spiritual law of faith can cause miracles, which it does when you surrender to the process and you trust the divine guidance that's coming through. So I'm not sure who needed to hear this message. Someone, be, Somebody did, and I hope it resonates with you. And I'd love your questions or comments below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if you are finally looking to step fully into your purpose work and your uh, mission and answer the call to be of divine service, then this is exactly who I help in my Sacred Leader Academy program. And you can get a taste of what I teach in Sacred Leader Academy in my Soul Align Success Masterclass, which you can also find below this video. And if you take the masterclass and it resonates with you, then I'm sure I can deliver massive value to you on a free strategy session. And you can get the link to book that when you take the Soul Align Success Masterclass. So I hope this finds you well, and until next time, namaste.